Concerned about your weight, trying to lose weight, you've tried all those same starvation diets, you've gone up and down, and now you said, I had it. And you say, I'm going to go back to the good life. But the good life may be killing you. Dying for a cheeseburger? I know the feelings. People come and go with those kind of feelings. But today I want to give you a very successful formula of how to lose weight successfully and enjoying it. And that is, if you want to lose weight, you have to eat more. Surprised? A rational, successful approach. Don't tune me out yet. Listen carefully. If you want to lose weight, you have to eat more. If you want to lose those extra pounds successfully, it's not so much the amount of food that you eat, it's more the number of calories that you have in the food. Let me give an example. Did you know that you can eat 10 potatoes and that's exactly the same number of calories as you have in one tube of Pringles? Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Potatoes have very little fat, very few calories, unless you pour them on. Pringles are 65% fat. Pringles, potato chips, have very little to do with potatoes. It's basically fat that is held together by a little bit of potato starch. So here's the lesson. Eat more food as it comes in nature and you can eat more and you get fewer calories. Another example. Did you know you can have one slice of apple pie? Yes. Apple pie a la mode. Yeah, 600 calories. It goes down very easily. Yeah, I know. But you could have had five baked apples, the same number of calories. You see, you can eat more of foods as grown, nicely prepared, versus when you have refined foods because the calories are concentrated. Think about this. Before we had food technology, and you could not extract the corn oil from the corn. If you wanted to get one tablespoon of corn oil equivalent, you would have to eat 14 ears of corn to get the amount of calories and oil that you have in one tablespoon. Now, do you know how easy it is to get one tablespoon of corn oil? You have some potato salad. It's easy to put several tablespoons of corn oil in there. You wouldn't even notice it. But just think about this. If you wouldn't have the industrial extraction process to create oil for us, which is a nice thing to have, but it concentrates the calories, you would have to eat 14 ears of corn. Lesson. Eat more food as it comes in nature. But be also careful with high-fat foods such as cheese. Cheese is about 70% fat. You want to use that just occasionally if you want to lose weight. It's not in your best interest. It's also a problem with cholesterol and salt and so on. Saturated fat. When it comes to meats, be careful because again, even if you trim all the fat off, it is still as 50, 60, 70 percent of the calories in fat. It's difficult to really become a winner in the losing game by trying to keep eating meat. So you want, to, you want to cut back on those kind of foods. Sausages, you know, you want to really, really cut back on those. You better leave them out. They're not in your best interest. But instead, eat more fresh fruits, more fresh vegetables. Eat more whole grain products. You know, get a good loaf of bread with five grains or six grains. And just be careful. Don't put all that margarine and butter on it. But that's what we do, isn't it? And then you put the peanut butter on top, which is another 80% fat. And then it sticks to your gums. Oh, no. Then you put the jam on top so it slides down the chute. No. You know, why don't you just have some, um, some good bread next time? Freeze it. And then you take it out of the freezer. You put it into the toaster a couple of times, and it's just right then. It's moist. It's warm, just the way you like it. And then instead of putting all the margarine and the peanut butter and the jam on top, why don't you just maybe use some mashed bananas on it? 
It's easy to do. Oh, you say that doesn't really look all that good. Well, you can make it fun. You can put some pineapple ring on top and then you put a raspberry right in the middle. Hey, it's gonna look great. So what we recommend is to move towards a diet that is a largely coming to you from foods as grown, more fruits, more vegetables, more whole grains, and more beans and, uh, and lentils. And cut back on refined foods. I mean, just think about this. 50% of the calories eaten in America today have no nutritional value. They're called empty calories. Number one, sugar. 20% of the calories we eat comes from sugar. No nutritional value, just calories. And then you have another 20% of the calories coming from oils and those refined fats. Again, not in your best interest. Cut back on those kind of things as much as you can. And then you have alcohol. That's another 8 9% for most men of the calories comes in the form of alcohol. And I'm, I'm sorry to say, there's no nutritional value there. No. It's not liquid grains. No. Alcohol is calories. So once you recognize that 50% of the foods that we eat, 50% of all the calories have no nutritional value, these are concentrated calories. Just think of it. We take in 44 zero teaspoons of sugar per person per day. Just two soda pops. Right there you have 20 teaspoons. It's not in your best interest. Try to be careful about these refined foods and try to cut back on the animal products because they're, because they're usually high in fat. And then add some exercise and have a good attitude towards life and shed some of the old ideas that if you want to lose weight, you have to eat less. No, eat more but of the right foods and you won't feel hungry and you won't have a semi-starvation diet. And you put some exercise in that program and you are going to be a winner in the losing game and you'll be losing one to two pounds every week and enjoying life. God bless. I'm Dr. Hans Steele, and here's to your health.